Hello, it's Scott here from Digital Puppets and this is just a screen recording demo to show off how I've converted a template puppet into a version of yourself. So let's just have a general look at the, you know, the motion capture. So as you can see at the moment I'm using the mouse to drag his eyes around. You can also use the keyboard, left and right. Uh, you can also use the webcam camera to track your eyes. Uh, let me just check the strength on that, yeah. So wherever I'm moving my eyes. It's an option. Um, I particularly prefer to use the mouse and the keyboard just because you've got greater control over the movements. Um, we've got some arm trigger action. So we've got hands and the hips, lower gesture, mid, double, thumbs up, all the sort of things, you know, when your character is uh, communicating, whether or not that's in an animation or if you're using it as a VTuber and you want to emote to the audience, you know, people tend to, you know, move their hands around and it just gives a greater sense of animation detail. Um, I've also got expression, so smiling, sad, happy, kind of unpleased, stern, grinning, Surprise, mad, don't know what that is, I'm going to eek. <laughs> a happier face, annoyed, kind of scared, a grin, fed up, surprise, and that's just a, a manual blink. And of course, you can control all the eyelids individually, the same with the eyebrows, and the same with the mouth. If you check out my um, tutorial video that I've made and which is on my website about how to animate with Adobe Character Animator, you'll see why it's important, you know, it's an important option to be able to control all of these individually because you will be able to make an even greater um, array of expression by mix and matching them all. Um, and I think that is everything. Um, we got a bit of walk forward you can um you've got the motion library set up on your character here so you can go through and add you you can go through and use these so let's have a look uh hip hop dance one i'm not going to go into the whole how to use this there are tutorials on um youtube all about how to use motion library um just bear in mind with motion library there's i think there's a few hundred um, different motions. Um, some of them will work with your character, some of them won't because they've all been set up for different perspectives and whatnot. Though you can tweak all that. Again, the tutorial um, will explain everything you need to know there. Um, I hope you are very happy with your puppet. Um, if you would like any alteration, please do let me know. Um, just some other little things I've added in the jaw. So the jaw moving the beard, it's got some parallax, the hairline, it's got parallax, even the front of the nose to the back of the nose is separate. So the purpose for this is just to give that sense of 2.5D an almost kind of 3D motion to the face so that it looked like he's turning. And if you've got other characters on screen or you're interviewing people and whatnot, it looks like the character is looking at them. Um, like I say, you need any tweaks or adjustments, just let me know.